Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury three 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 with another exhibition match. Or oh, it's another. Let's try this, because I'm um, calling it Nanolith is done on Twitch. Let's try that sort of intro. Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nanolith is done. I'm your host, Shadow Fury three three three, with another exhibition match stream for you. This is going to be a game between Snuggle Base and Flipstip. And okay, Scotty's getting distracted in the chat. Sorry, I won't pay attention to that. This is Icy Shell, so those of you who have watched this stream at all regularly will recognize this map, because Icy Shell is a fairly common map that we've seen recently. The basic thing about it, the center is extremely important. Light vehicles can't get to it, so if anyone goes for vehicles or heavy tanks, like vehicles can't get to it, but bots can. So typically a bot player, will, as Snuggle Base is clearly going for, will try to get to that fairly quickly and hold it, while a vehicle player either can terraform to that, or just try to take the rest of the map with their faster units. So right now, Snuggle Base going for the Cloaky Bot Factory, while Flipstip is going for the Light Vehicle Factory. So Flipstip is going for exactly what I mean. They're probably going to be going around the map trying to stop Snuggle Base. At Snuggle Base, they're already going for the plus five in the center. They already have that worked out. They've, they're have they being very aggressive about that. So the real question is whether or not they could defend it, because Flipstip will probably get Wolverines pretty quick in order to deal with that, because that's typically what players do. Although, also, what typically players will do is terraform up that metal spot and then make it just that much harder, just that much harder for artillery to deal with. Snuggle Base, however, is winning the first little scouting engagements as Flipstep tries to figure out where Snuggle Base is, assuming the corners, since oftentimes in this pl map, players do start in the corners. A center start is, of course, possible, but it's, it's harder to defend. It's a little bit trickier because you have the entire area around you you have to kind of fortify as opposed to being in a corner. The downside, of course, of being in a corner is that it's easier to be stuck in that corner. But Flipstep, they are not in a position right now where they're likely to get stuck. So it's... It is going to be an interesting match. It really has... Okay, Snuggleway's not going for the terraform option. Is going to allow Artillery to just hit that for free. Interesting choice. I'm not sure why they didn't bother to terraform that. Might have not thought about that. It looks like Snugglebase, however, is actually being extremely aggressive, going for a just a rush build. Can't, well, I mean, obviously they're going for the center, but it almost looks like their commander not being morphed. So, okay, they're probably not going for a calm rush build. They are being very aggressive, putting a lot of pressure, or putting some pressure on Flipstep. Okay, now they're putting the pressure on Flipstep. Five glaives coming in. This better do something. Okay, four glaives. Oh, that's not done anything yet. That was one glaive for free with no loss. That was not the best attack. Flipstep continuing to build up glaives, which... Sorry, Flipstep... <laughs> Snuggle Base is building up place. Flipstep can't build up glaives. They're playing light vehicles. What is wrong with me? They're being... Okay. There we go. Six glaives. But once again, this is... This is the number of glaives that you need in order to actually deal... Rather, you need to deal damage with these glaives. Like, Snuggle Base, if they don't deal damage with these glaives, they're gonna get counterattacked hard. And now we see it coming in right now, and those glaives just... Okay, get rid of one Scorcher, but losing two glaives in the process. 130 for 130. I mean, even in cost, but Flipstep gets the reclaim, so unfortunately that does not go in Snuggle Base's favor. Snuggle Base continuing to build up in the background while Flipstep has kind of left their economy behind. I mean, they're on par focusing on energy rather than metal. So Snuggle Base right now, despite the fact that their territory is a little bit harder to protect, is still focusing more on expansion. Which they kind of have to. I mean, the thing is, they kind of need to set up their territory so that it's less of a surroundable position. They kind of need to set this up and then build defenses around it so that it's harder for Flips to get behind there. <laughs> but at this point, Flipstip is... Well, they're pushing ahead pretty slowly. Coming with the Slashers instead, not a bad choice, but a little bit tricky. Depends on how many Glaives there are. Against seven Glaives, the Slasher should be perfectly fine, especially with Scorcher Protection. But it depends on whether or not Snuggle Base continues. I mean, they're going to continue to build up Glaives, so it kind of depends on those numbers. And now at this point, Flipstip will probably go from here to just continue to build up Scorchers. They are... Scorcher Slasher? Oh, they are going for Wolverines. Okay, so they are going to try to take out the center, as would be expected. Snuggle Base, on the other hand, should probably just keep going with this. Maybe build a few ticks, too. It's a little tough in this map, but the, if they can kind of figure out where Flipstip is going... Just to stop those Scorchers from getting around. But there are only two Scorchers. There aren't that many. Flipstep's army is quite small. They focused a lot of their money on building up... Actually, their commander is upgraded. Yep, so they focused money on that. And now the Scorchers are about to go down. The Slasher as well. So that thorn in the side has been picked out. But Snugglebase 
still loses three glaives to get rid of that slasher, which wasn't bad. If they get rid of these two scorchers, then that will work nicely, but they do not really have the units. Eight glaives, one of which is in production, and another scorcher here, which Snuggle Base totally sees. They actually saw the entire time. Snuggle Base has pretty much got full vision of the entire map, either vision or radar on the entire map, and that, well, that was just not going to work out for the Scorcher at all. So, Snuggle Base, they got the center pretty solidly on lock. They aren't really going for the south as much as I expected them to, though. Looked like they just wanted to get... Okay, are they not paying attention to this? Because I can kind of see they just really want to build up as many glazes as they can. But right now, this worker could actually, this builder could be building up metal extractors without interfering with the factory's production. And Flipsa's commander goes down to the glaives. Nice retreat there by Snugglebase to point that out. Snugglebase retreating their glaives. I mean, it didn't quite get far enough, but they had the right idea retreating their glaives from the converse because that's something I've mentioned before. You don't want to have your units near the commander when it explodes. When it dies and goes off like that, having the Having any of your units near there means they can't continue. Now, that wasn't as much of a deep strike. Like, it's a bigger deal when you're doing a deep strike attack. If their commander's in the middle of their base and your raiders come in and get killed by the commander burst, then the commander burst has kind of done its job defensively. Like, the commander's dead, but the rest of the base is safe. At f the front like that is not as devastating for Snuggle Base, but still annoying, especially since they were clearly trying to avoid the explosion. Still, very good move there. That's what you should do. Exactly right. Snuggle Base is not going for economy much anymore. They are really powering out Glaives. They just want to win with this. And Flipstip, on the other hand, has been powering economy this entire time. They've been building up to the north and not quite going over here yet. It looks like they are still being rather slow about it. But they have a lot of reclaim. They have a lot of metal extractors. They have a much stronger economy. The only downside right now is a lack of energy. They're actually low on their energy count. But other than that, they are going to be in a pretty good position. However, Snuggle Base has finally realized, oh hey, my Rector's idle, or Conjurer's idle, I should probably do something about that. I should probably make it do something. And yes, yes you should. Unfortunately, at the same time, this Scorchers come in to tear that apart, so that's not gonna... I mean, kind of breaks even at that point. Snuggle Base right now is finally able to reclaim something, mostly their own things, but still something, hey. No longer donations going one way. Yeah, Snuggle Base's commander is still trying to defend that plus five in the center, and they kind of have to. It's the only way that their economy is even close, and as it is, their economy is behind. The Conjurer here is doing its job, finally. It was on a bit of an unsolicited break, but that has no longer... Oh, that's sorry, That ceased to be the case. That's no longer the case. This is... Now that's building up. So now Snuggle Base can get back up to economic parity with Flipstep, but Flipstep... Well, actually, they do have economic parity. Flipstep's not reclaiming right now, but they have so much reclaim available. They have their commander available for reclaim. That's how much reclaim do they have? Flipstep, right here, without moving any of these. What's going on? As well, they have about 700 easy, and for what they're trying to do, they have about a thousand. But that's assuming they can get through the glaives, and that doesn't look likely. Those slashers dead. The second slasher will probably die fairly soon. Well, never mind. What am I saying? There's only four glaives. Actually, probably would have died if they had been attacked, although that... No, that defender would be... No, no, never mind. That, that defender's the problem. Still going for it, though. We'll see who's right. And it looks like Snuggle Base's past self was actually right. So that was a bad move. Still managed to take out the Slasher, but that was not the best move. They were right to retreat in the first place. As we can clearly see. And the plus five has been removed, but Snuggle Base is able to at least make up for it by building up around the back. However, that's not what they want. They want that plus five. That is hugely important to them because they are bots. They can get it. Flipstep really can't. Not without either factory switching or terraforming. Flipstep at the moment not too worried about it. More worried about their energy. Want to make absolutely sure that when they reclaim, and that's a good choice because they are reclaiming a lot. Make sure that their reclaim can be used. Getting the Geoplant on top of that, nice move. That's going to be handy, especially... Oh, well. The Glaives, are they going to know about it? I don't think they are. No, I don't think Snuggle Bay spotted that. They might have. There's an outside chance they spotted that. And... Snuggle Base is not going for the Geo Plant themselves, despite the fact that they started right next to that. And Snuggle Base deciding, well, I can't win this. I, my initial rush didn't work, and throws in the towel. So that is a game. And actually, they played another game immediately after this, which was on Badlands. So that is going to be the next game we're going to watch. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.